The Wood Whisperer is sponsored by Festool. Faster, easier, smarter. And by Powermatic, the gold standard since 1921. I decided to skip ahead a little bit and create these interior rails uh, without you guys having to watch me do it. It's probably getting kind of boring at this point. Um, the only difference between the outside rails and the inside rails is obviously the inside rails have, have dados or you have dados, the grooves on, on both sides. They're also a full two inches wide as opposed to one and three quarters because the outside ones had this quarter inch lip to deal with. All those dimensions will be in the, the final version here, so don't worry about it yet. Uh, I'll go ahead and move those into position, grab that top corner, if I can get to it. There we go. And the challenge is I don't really, without doing some math, don't really know where it's supposed to go to be equal distance. We want all the panels the same size, obviously. I'll put one there, and the second one, grab, oops, grab it and put it right next to it. The trick here is I'm going to actually measure the space that's left uh, using the ruler tool from that point to that point. Looks like exactly 12 inches uh, right there, 12 inches. And delete that line that just got created. So three, three panels, 12 inches. Uh, I'm going to go pull out a calculator, but I think that's four inches each. So the move tool, if I, if I move this one, this is the original one, I'll select it and move it from the point it's at over too far, and then I'll actually just type in 4, enter, and that's where it belongs. This next one, I'll move it to sort of the zero point, the starting point, and then another 4 inches. So that's where they belong. So now we have everything except for the panels is in the model. Now to add the panels in, I'll use the rectangle tool, come down to one of the corners, the visible corners. And now I created a rectangle that fills the hole, but don't forget we, we uh, need to add 3 eighths of an inch all the way around to account for the, the groove, for the, the extra part of the panel that will be hidden. Uh, so I'll use the offset tool to do that. Come outside 3 eighths of an inch, which is the depth of the grooves. And now I really want to clean up that interior so I can double click to get the, the in inside stuff. Hit delete to clean it up. Now our push tool comes up. Panels will be a quarter of an inch thick. And we can triple click, make them a component, and they will be called panels. There will be three of those eventually. Again, we've got sort of a trick to get those into place. Here's how I would do that. I'm going to draw a line from one corner of the hole or the opening to another and sort of create a target. I'm going to make sure I get the oops, get this bottom edge, the, the top end of where the panel will sit, the top surface of the panel, and diagonally make everybody dizzy again, zoom in down here and diagonally across to the exact opposite point. So now I've got, uh, I've got a line stretching across the, the gap where I want my panel. I'll draw another line on the panel itself from one corner to the opposite. doesn't matter that it's going a different way because both of the lines have the same midpoint. So if I select everything here, use the move tool, and grab it all by the midpoint of that new line, I should be able to just come over to my opening, to my hole, and with a little bit of luck, there we go. I snap to the midpoint of the, the second line. All I have to do now is use the eraser or or you know, select them one at a time to erase these extra lines. And now that panel is, is exactly where I want it to be, right in the opening. The last two panels are very easy to, to move around. All I need to do is select the existing panel by clicking it. It's a little strange here because all the edges are covered up. You can't see the blue lines. So I'll actually turn on the x-ray feature just real quick to show you I do have it selected. All I need to do, and turn that back off, is use the move tool and pick pick sort of a you know a reference point. Let's say this bottom left corner of, of that edge. 
all I need to do is move it, hold down the control key again to make a copy, and then move it to the exact same point in the next hole. And now you can't see it again, but that's still selected, so I can move it from there to the next, and with the control key again, use the same point again, and now I have three panels and a complete model where everything is a component and has the right dimensions and joinery. Uh, the only remaining thing left to do would be to pull it apart and put some dimensions on it because most of these dimensions I just don't know even though I've drawn the thing uh, and that's the whole point is let's go get some uh, some dimensions for taking out to the shop and actually cutting up some wood. Okay for dimensions I won't bore you with the whole details I'll, I'll put one together with all the information you'd need to build it and ask Mark to host it on his site but I just want to show you how the dimension tool does work. Um, it is sometimes on the on the toolbar here I don't have it on the, the standard toolbar, which is, is all I've got shown right now. But if you go into the tool menu and hit dimensions, uh, you get this little dot that follows you around. You can, you can then pick two points and then pull off any dimension you need. So that, that particular rail is 19 and a half inches. Uh, this one, the visible portion of it is, is 32. Don't forget there's some tenons there. Uh, so I'll, I'll, what you can do then is to, uh, to get the full dimensions on everything. You can do the you know explode the thing and create an exploded diagram where you go in and get the full dimensions on that whole piece again I'll put that out there for for Mark uh, to host on his site so you can get the project dimensions but that is it uh, if you stuck with me this far I hope you learned a little bit about SketchUp it's a great little planning program and I use it a lot out in the shop to uh, to figure out what I'm what I'm supposed to be doing that's all I've got for you see ya